um, we are continuing our work on rounding now and we are looking at rounding to significant figures, okay? Um, now, this key point we had in the last video, round, we were rounding to decimal places. If you haven't um, consolidated your knowledge on rounding to decimal places, you need to go back and look at rounding to decimal places first before you come back to significant figures, okay? But the key point about rounding is if the number next door is five or more, you round up. If it's not, the number stays the same. You don't ever round down. Okay, right. So today we're going to talk about significant figures. Okay, um, and significant figure is the first, or the first significant figure is the first non-zero number. Okay, so we don't start counting our significant figures until the first number that is not zero. Okay, so to start with, we're just going to look at identifying significant figures before we then look at rounding to significant figures. Okay, so here um, we've got the number 47,830. Our first significant figure is the first number from the left that is not zero. So that is our first significant figure, that four. Okay, which in this case represents 40,000. Okay, question two. Our first significant figure is the first non-zero number. So the first non-zero number is that eight. Okay, please be careful. If zero follows another number, so here the first significant figure is eight and then it's a zero, that zero now counts as a significant figure. Okay, so zero doesn't count as a significant figure unless it's after another number. Shall we write that down? Let's write that down. So here's a key point. Maybe write this down somewhere. Zero does not count as a significant figure until it is after another number. Okay, so if it was 0 0.0085, those zeros wouldn't count. Okay, but if it was 0 0.00805, the zero after the eight would count. Okay, right, so that's our first significant figure. Question three, 16.7, that's our first significant figure representing a 10. This is our first significant figure in 5.9. And in this one, our eight is our first significant figure because it is the first number that is not zero. Okay, that's a bit where significant figures are. Right, we're going to continue with this. Just checking we're okay before we start rounding. So here we've got to underline the fourth significant figure. So here we've got the number 5,879,324 and we want the fourth significant figure. So here's the first, second, third, fourth significant figure is the nine. First, second, third, fourth. So it's the 0.83 is the fourth significant figure. Okay, question three. First significant figure, that is your second because it's after another number, so that counts. So it's one, two, three, four. Now that zero counts because it's after other numbers, so that zero is your fourth significant figure. Number four, that zero doesn't count because it's at the beginning of a number, so our first significant figure is a six. This zero does count because it's after another number, so that's first, second, third, that's our fourth, that number three. Number five, that zero doesn't count, that zero doesn't count. That's our first significant figure, second, third, fourth. Okay, again here, that zero doesn't count, that doesn't count. That's our first significant figure, that's our second, because it's after another number. That's our third, this is our fourth. Okay, right, when we are rounding to a significant figure, we want to have that figure, that many figures, so if you're rounding to three significant figures, you want three numbers and the rest zeros. Okay, if it's two significant figures, you want two figures and the rest zeros. If it was three significant figures, three numbers and the rest zeros. If it's one significant figure, one number and the rest zeros. Okay, so we're going to proceed exactly like we do with decimal places. Here we've got the number 87,325. We are rounding it to one significant figure. So we are first of all going to underline our first significant figure. So our first significant figure is the eight. We then look at the number next door. If that is five or more, we round it up. So it is five or more, so that eight becomes a nine. 
Now, obviously, 87,325 does not round to 9. And it's because we need to place, we need to replace the zeros as placeholders. So these numbers now need to be zero. So it is 90,000. If you step back and you think logically, 87,325 rounds to 90,000. Makes sense. Okay, number two. We're going to underline our first significant figure. Is the number next door five or more? No. So the one stays as it is. I need to replace this with a zero. But if I've got, then got a decimal point, I do not need to put 0 0.01 on because that does not change the value of the number. Okay, this is worth a 10, here it's worth a 10, I don't need to put the point zero on. All right, that's quite important. In fact, if you did, it would be wrong. Okay, one significant figure, one number, the rest zeros. Right, question three, 567.89, here is my first significant figure. Is the number next door five or more? Yes, so that goes to a six. I replace these bits with my zero. I don't need to put 0 0.00 because they don't affect the number, so it's just 600. Okay, hopefully that makes a bit more sense. Right, we're continuing to go to one significant figure. 0.879, so where is my first significant figure? Well, don't forget that zero does not count as a significant figure until it's after another number. So my first significant figure is eight. Is the number next door five or more? Yes. So that 8 goes to a 9. Now, 0 0.879 can't suddenly go to the number 9. We have to keep this 0 in as a placeholder so that it does not change the value of the number. Okay? So it's going to be 0 0.9. Similarly here. Where's my first significant figure? My first significant figure is the 8. Is the number next door 5 or more? No. So that stays as an 8. So this is going to be 0 0.8. So you keep the 0 in the front. Number six, where is my first significant figure? Well, that doesn't count, nor does that, because it's not after another number. So my first significant figure is the five. Is the number next door five or more? No. So that is going to be 0 0.05. Again, we are not replacing these end numbers with zeros. Okay, and the reason we are doing not doing that is because it doesn't change the value of the number. 0 0.9 it's the same as 0 0.90000 blah 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 blah. Okay, and you shouldn't, if it asks for one significant figure, it wants one figure. Okay, you can replace it with zeros if it then, like in these ones over here, we had to replace these with zeros because otherwise it would change the value of the number. But it's if it's after the decimal point, it's not going to change the value of the number. Okay, right, now we're going to our next example which is rounding to three significant figures, three sig fig. Okay, first number, I hope you can read it. Can you see that? It's 63.85 and we're going to three sig fig. So we are going to underline our third significant figure. Here's our first, here's our second, here's our third. Is the number next door five or more? Yes, that rounds up to a nine. So it's going to be 63.9. Question number two, 3,894,210. Where is our third significant figure? First, second, third. Is the number next door five or more? No. So it stays as 389, but it can't just be 389 because that's nothing like this number. Okay, so we have to replace it with zero. So we've got that has to become a zero and the others have to become a zero. Remember, three significant figures means three numbers or three digits and the rest zeros that's what it means okay lovely right question three eighty seven thousand eight hundred ninety five point four three where's our third significant figure here's our first here's our second here's our third is the number next door five or more yes so that's going to round that to a nine we then need to replace these two with zero, so it's 87,900, and we don't want the point zero zero on the end because that does not change the value of the number. Right, number four, that doesn't count as a significant figure, so our first, second, third, is the number next door five or more? No, so it stays as 896, that stays as a six, okay? You need the naught point in front so that it keeps the same value. Number five, 
our third significant figure. Oh, that doesn't count as a significant figure because it's the first zero. So this is one. This does count because it's after another number. Two, three. Is the number next door five or more? Yes, it is. So it goes naught point. We have to keep that naught point to keep the value. Eight, zero, four. Okay. And the last one, the humdinger. Where is our third significant figure? Here's our first. Here's our second. Here's our third. Is the number next door five or more? Yes. So that rounds that 9 to a 10, which bumps into the next bit. So that becomes 18. Now, how many significant figures has it asked for? It's asked for 3. How many have we just given? We've given 2. So we need to put on a point zero on the end so that the examiner can see we have got 3 numbers. 1, 2, 3. Don't forget that 0 counts as a significant figure because it's following other numbers. Okay, that is rounding to significant figures. You can do the same process with two or four or how many significant figures they ask for. Underline where that significant figure is. Look at the number next door. Replace your placeholders with zeros unless they're after decimal points. Okay, check out the next video um, on estimation.